So have you ever had one of those moments where you just start feeling like crap for no reason at all? So I've had, I have one of those experiences recently where I just felt like the sense of despair wash over me and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And I guess this is kind of like a sign that I'm in a better place now than I used to be because I guess thoughts like this used to come up a lot more. But yeah, it was just like this feeling of like hopelessness and this feeling like, oh, I should just give up. And yeah, just feeling like complete crap. And it wasn't like it was like motivated by anything in particular it just like came to me and so then I was kind of like racking my mind like trying to come up with some sort of like explanation right for why I was feeling this way like oh maybe it's the weather maybe I have some sort of parasite <laughs> and um yeah I mean and then it um I came back to this um this lesson from A Course in Miracles and the lesson, basically these lessons in the workbook, they kind of get you to reflect on different mantras. And so this mantra was, um, I might be getting the word slightly wrong, but, um, but the general concept is, I am never upset for the reason I think I am. And so, so sometimes when we're upset, right, it seems like it's a really obvious reason, right? Um, like somebody says something and then immediately we have a reaction to it. Um, or some, you know, something happens to us. And then other times it, um, you know, it just like I was describing, it just kind of comes out of nowhere, right? And then we try to find a reason. But either way, um, what this mantra does is it kind of invites you to, or um, maybe not a mantra so much, but yeah, yeah, mantra kind of invites you to go um, beneath the surface, right? And to kind of, and to kind of examine, you know, is this the true reason why I'm upset? And um, and so the whole the whole purpose of the course is basically to get you um, to kind of experience this unity with all that is, right? Whether you want to call it again God, Source, we have lots of names that we call it, but it's it's just basically the sense of unity, right? The sense of oneness. And what the course is getting at is that any time that we feel upset, it all comes back to the sense of separation. It all comes back to um, we're feeling separate, right? Either, um, you know, we're feeling separate from ourselves, like sometimes we feel disconnected from ourselves, sometimes we feel disconnected from other people, and, but at the core of it, it's because we're feeling disconnected from God, and we're feeling disconnected from Source. And because when you feel that connection, you recognize that that connection is in all things, right? It's in everybody around you, it's within yourself. And so, and so once that switch is turned on, right, once that light bulb is turned on, then, um, then it's a very um, like generative force. And so, so you're feeling that connection within yourself and you're feeling that connection with everybody around you. And, but when you fall out of that state, you start to feel disconnected and it starts to kind of come up as feelings of loneliness, feelings of despair, feelings of anger, feelings of impotence. Um, but all of it comes back to this feeling of separation. But, um, but once you kind of, what these lessons do is the, the lessons kind of get you to recognize that all of this is just, it's not your reality, right? It's not like a permanent state, it's just like an experience that you're having. And, um, and then there's another mantra um, that was a, one of the workbook lessons recently, which is, I am sustained by God's love. And so, so any, anything else, right, is just temporary, whether it's our job, our money, you know, a relationship with another person, um, you know, there's, there's always kind of something in the world, right, in the outside world that kind of gives us the sense of importance, it gives us the sense um, of substance, but, um, but when you're relying on that thing, and there's, no, there's nothing wrong from seeking um, sustenance in these things, right? We're all kind of in these bodies having this human experience. But, but when we start to feel that feeling of disconnection, it's because we're trying to rely on that thing alone, right? And then if we, if we lose our job, if we lose the relationship or the money, then immediately we kind of fall out of that state, right? And, and we start to see, well, maybe we start to question whether or not that thing was ever real that connection was ever real in the first place. 
but the connection that we have with God, with Source, is something that's always going to be there with us, right? And it's something that we can always turn to um, no matter how we're feeling, no matter what's going on in our mind, no matter what's going on in our body, no matter what's going on in the outside world. And so that's the thought I wanna leave you with today, is one, just telling yourself, questioning whether you're truly upset for the reason that you think you are, and then second of all, um, recognizing that you're always sustained by God's love. And that's something that you can always turn to no matter what's happening on the surface.